Purple artichokes, wild mint, garlic and oil are the simple but essential ingredients of a delicious spring recipe. Roman style artichokes. Let's get to know them together. As I told you, the ingredients of this recipe are few and very simple, so I suggest you choose them of the best quality. The purple globe artichokes are the typical artichokes of Lazio. Their round shape and few thorns make them perfect for this recipe. If you can't find them, however, you can choose any other variety of artichoke at your disposal. The first thing to do to avoid oxidizing the artichokes or staining your hands is to get a lemon. I will squeeze half of it into a bowl filled with water. And with the other half instead, I'll wrap my hands. We can move on to cleaning the artichokes. In this case, the toughest part of the stem has already been removed. I will only trim the last piece and then I'll start peeling off the artichoke in order to remove the outer leaves. As the leaves become more and more tender, instead of tearing them off the base, you can stop here like this. At this point, as you can see, the remaining leaves are nice and tender. I'm going to trim the top. Then with a parry knife, I'm going to clean the base and the stem, also turning the artichoke. Once the artichoke is well cleaned, I spread open the center. Please be gentle. Then with a scoop, I'll remove the choke. Here it is, this fuzzy beard. I love artichokes, perhaps because they are in fact flower buds, so consider a bunch of artichokes for your next anniversary. Once clean, I will soak the artichoke in acidulated water and I'll cover it with some tissue paper to keep it down and continue like this with all the others. Once the artichokes are all clean, you can take care of the stuffing. The essential ingredient is wild mint, but if you can't find it, you can do as we did and use mint. Soft leaf aromatic herbs such as mint and basil, contrary to popular belief, should not be chopped, but only cut once. I'll show you how. Collect the leaves, forming a sort of bundle, then cut them like this, only once. It's time for garlic. I'll peel it off and then chop it. I'll mix the two mixtures and add salt and pepper. I'll also sprinkle some salt and pepper here on the chopping board. And I can stuff my artichokes. I'm going to stuff it with a small handful of mixture. Once stuffed, Roll the artichoke in the salt and pepper on the chopping board. This way it will also flavor the outside. Voila! Ready for the pan. There are various schools of thought, but for us the Roman artichoke is like this, upside down. And here's the last one. Roman style artichokes must be like this, beautifully jammed in the pan, as our Greta, true Roman, would say. I can pour the extra virgin olive oil, which will cover the artichokes up to half. And now I'll cover them with water up to the base of the stem. I'll place the lid on and let it cook over medium-low heat for about half an hour. For true Romans, this is a tasty snack to eat on the plate or inside focaccia, but you can eat them as a side dish, as an appetizer, or don't tell anyone, crush the leftovers with a fork and use them to season pasta as if there would be leftovers. Bon appétit!